guys, it's Connor V24 here. Today I have my last Airsoft Club video review of this uh, last order. It's of this Full Metal G17 magazine. Just decided to pick up another one for my WE G17. Um, really like this gun and I really thought I needed this sort of rare magazine, especially when I used it in SC Viper. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this video review. This Clarner P24 Airsoft review is brought to you by airsoftclub.com. Alright guys, so this is the G17 magazine from airsoftclub.com. It costs $18.99, which is actually a fairly good deal for a magazine. They also have 50 round, uh, those long magazines for I think $19.99, if you guys really want to pick one of those up. Um, it says it's compatible with the TM or Tokyo Marui G17. Um, it happens to work perfectly fine with my WEG17 um, holds 24 rounds, it's made of full metal, uh, it weighs 315 grams, and it takes specifically 6mm bolt, 6 6mm BBs. Um, like I said, full metal, actually really nice. I was really surprised with the price of the magazine. Um, it's got your standard, you know, loading mechanism. Um, it actually has Glock trademarks on the bottom. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on these. You can see Glock, okay, and it also has Glock trademarks back there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says Glock and then Austria below it. And then it actually has, let me focus it again, it actually has, um, see if it, let me see if it will focus on this, because it actually has, um, it says 9mm up here, and then it has markers for how much rounds you have left, like 4. 14, 26, 17, things like that. Um, and then this is my WE magazine. So that's right next to there. So this is the one from Airsoft Club and this is the WE magazine that came with it. Now, a noticeable difference right off the bat is down at the bottom. Now you see on the Airsoft Club one, it has these two pins with on the WE one, it does not. Um, I think this has to do with disassembling the magazine because on the WE one, when you disassemble it and you push the little pin in and pull the base plate off, if I can get that. Let me grab a little pen so I can hit that. Okay, it's just a screw uh, underneath there and the valve. And let me do this with the Airsoft Club one. This one is kind of stiff to get off. Um, yeah, it's really stiff to get off. I'm pushing the little thing down and it's just really stiff to move it. So just a note if you're gonna get the magazine. All right, so the di big difference down at the bottom. All right, so this is the Airsoft Club one. This is my WE one. So the Airsoft Club one does not have a screw holding the pieces in. That's what the side pins are for. The WE one does have a Phillips head screw there right underneath the valve. Um. The valve on the WE one is noticeably a lot larger than the one on the Airsoft Club one. Um, another thing I would like to note with these ma with the this magazine um, is that when you get it, it does leak right out of the box, which I'm kind of sad to say. Um, it did leak, you know, a little bit, and then after just a couple of uses, it was perfectly fine. So, but other than that, it's a good magazine. Um, it works specifically. This one works specifically with the TM series of G17s. Um, and it fits perfectly in my G17. Um, they also have ones for the, the KSC, if you really want to get one of those, and they also have the 50 round ones, so if you guys are looking for those as well. So uh, I'm just going to move on to my final conclusion of this G17 mag. Alright guys, this G17 magazine is very is a very, very good deal, only $18.99 on airsoftclub.com. It fits really well in my WE G17. If you guys are TM users or KSC users, go ahead and check out the other Glock magazines they have on airsoftclub.com as well as the other Glock, Glock magazines and other accessories for Glock style pistols on the website as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe up above for more Airsoft Club sponsored Airsoft videos and we'll see you guys in the next review.